All right, so in the previous screencast, I showed you how to build a behavior so that if some phone texted your app or texted you the phone with the app on it and running, um, so he texted some message and this phone kind of auto-responded with, I'm driving you, text you later. So it sent that back to, to this guy, okay? Now let's make it so this message doesn't always have to be I'm driving text you later. In fact, let's make it so the user interface is a little more complex and it allows the user to, to have a custom message, okay, instead of always the same fixed message. Make it a little more uh, practical for, for use. Okay, so I'm going to come over to the designer and I'm going to add a couple things. I'm going to add a label, okay, and I'm going to add a text box. Okay. And this text box is where the user can enter a custom message. So I'm going to call this custom message text box. Okay. And I'm going to give it a hint that says, please enter a custom message. And you'll notice you can see this, you know, how it's going to look in the in the in the real in the real app. Okay. And then for this label, I want to give it the text, um, I'm driving right now, text you later. Okay. And, you know, this is going to be what actually gets sent back in response. I'm going to add one more label right above here, which is kind of for decoration, but it'll kind of be more instructions. It's going to say, you know, the message below will be sent in auto response to all texts or to all incoming texts about that okay and uh, let's make this guy bold all right so uh, you know pretty simple user interface the user can type in this text box um, to change this message that's going to appear and we probably need one more thing. Um, and so I'll grab a screen arrangement and a horizontal arrangement. And I'm going to stick my text box in there. And then I'm going to add a button. And that button is going to be how the person actually kind of submits the new, the new um, response. Okay. And I'll re rename it the submit button. Get rid of the one. Okay. It's real important to give descriptive name for these guys. So when we do the behavior, we'll, we'll know what we're dealing with. And the text for this guy, I'm going to call it um, submit. Okay, so the user types something in here, like their new custom message. Um, I'm in a meeting. They click submit, and the idea is that the custom message will change. Okay, so that's our user interface um, for allowing custom, custom responses. All right, so next thing we're going to do, oh, let me rename one more thing. Um, this label one is really our custom response label. Okay, this is actually what we're going to send to incoming text. Okay, so now we've got this custom response label, custom message text box, and then submit button. All right, so let's go over to the blocks editor. Um, Really, what we don't want is to send a, a fixed piece of text. We really want to, you know, the message we want to send is whatever is in the custom response label. Okay, so I'm going to grab that, and that's that's what we're going to end up sending to the to the whoever sends a text to us. Okay. Well, we need one more event handler, so we need to handle the event when the user clicks submit. So I'm going to grab the submit button. Submit button dot click, and when they've entered something in this text box, I need to change what's in this label down here. All right. So when they submit the button, what I want to do is set my response label. Okay. I want to set this bolded piece of text. And I want to set it to whatever they typed in, and whatever they typed in is the text property of custom message text box, which is this guy up here. 
All right, so I'm going to grab custom message text box dot text, and that's going to change my label. Okay, I'm also going to empty out whatever they typed, you know, because we've already kind of processed it. So I'm going to do one more kind of bookkeeping thing, which is change this um, text box to be blank, and that'll cause the the hint to to appear again. All right, so we're doing doing pretty well, I think. Let's try this out. So let's come over here and once again let's type in, you know, I'm in a meeting this time. When I click submit, what I think is going to happen is the custom response label will change. Okay, cool, it did. And in fact, it emptied out my message text box. All right, so that's pretty cool. Let's just make sure that our texting still works, though. So I'm going to come back over here and, and type another message in here. What are you doing? Send it. And this guy should receive it. He does. And in fact, we auto responded with, I'm in a meeting because that's what we changed the response. Base. So, you know, so now we have an app where the user who's kind of setting this thing up because they're going to a meeting or driving or whatnot can, can type in whatever custom message they want.